Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to go over how to remove and recover the front door and rear side armrest in a BMW E46 convertible, but the process should be pretty similar for an E46 coupe. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first step in recovering the armrest is getting this old armrest off. And we're lucky because it's pretty easy. We don't have to take the door panel off. We don't have to undo any bolts. It's actually just held in with six little kind of push pin type things. Um, and then one clip at the back. And when you get most of them out, I found the trick is kind of pivoting it in towards the car to release the last two pins. And here on the bottom, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six pins. And that little clippy part at the back. And that's what latches into here and helps keep it secure. So let's get on to removing the cover so we can put a new one on. For the next step here, I'm working on a flat surface. Fortunate enough to have a convertible, so I put the top down. I'm working on the trunk and tonneau. But you know, you could work on a work table if you didn't want to be close to your BMW. Uh, and really what we're doing here is just peeling off the glue, and mainly the leather. And this is actually leather. I also like to start by maybe freeing up a corner. There we go. Oop, see, that's a problem. There's a foam kind of batting pad on top of the heavy foam. I noticed that right along this line of stitching on the underside, mine wanted to rip away. Because we're gonna cut a new template, we don't need to reuse this piece. I'm not worried about it ripping. So I've got both sides kind of started, and now I'm going to just kind of uh, pull it back. Yeah, pretty much, and you can see, yeah, about halfway through. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, and I'll be right back, and we will move on to cutting and preparing a new piece to go over this. All right, so I have removed pretty much all of the glue, uh, paid specific attention to the corners where you want to get it off, and then always really pay attention to this little small joint. It's going to be at the trailing edge of your door. Um, don't want to have extra glue or material in there because this little clip thing is what helps secure it, and extra material will make it difficult to get it back in. So now that this is pretty much ready to be recovered, I think we should talk about recovering. Uh, I'm going to grab my fabric and we can start on that. All right, let's talk fabric. So I'm going to recover my armrest in fabric as opposed to leather or some of the other materials. And there are kits on eBay, on, on Amazon that I've seen where they have the covers pre-cut. Um, a lot of them claim to be Alcantara and I think this is a good time to dispel some of the myths of Al Alcantara. Um, first of all, almost nothing you buy that is not OEM, BMW, for an M3, or a very high-end high -end model, is going to be Alcantara. Why? It's $150 a yard. It's usually available only to the trade, as they call it. So that would be interior design professionals, automotive upholstering companies. Uh, it's really generally pretty hard to get your hands on. And it's expensive for a couple of reasons. The wear rating on it is superior. The UV resistance on it is really great. And then it is also flame retardant. So it's a big thing. We don't think much about it, but all of the materials in a car have to be flame retardant to a greater or lesser degree. So um, there's that. This is not Alcantara. This is an inexpensive micro suede I picked up at a local fabric store. This was about $20 a yard. Uh, so I'm going to have more than enough to do my armrests. Uh, I also like to wrap my A pillars maybe play around with some other parts in the car, but today I really want to focus on these armrests because the one on my driver's door, driver's door was knackered and needed replaced. So, now that we're done talking about fabric, how are we going to cut it? I recommend using the templates, the, the old leather pieces that you ripped off of your door panels, and using those as a piece to trace after, trace over, when it comes to cutting, there's another thing I want to mention, and it's going to be a big time saver, and it's also going to make it look a, just that much better. 
So I have my big sheet, piece of fabric, my hunk here, and you can see along this edge, I already cut out my pieces. And in doing that, I learned, should put your two furry, fuzzy edges. They call these the selvage edges, and it's where the fabric is woven back and forth. Fold these two together so that you have your piece of fabric in half. Um, and then cut it out, because you're going to first do half as much work. You're cutting both pieces at once. But the other thing, especially with a microfiber or an Alcantara or a suede-like material, is that they do have a grain, and that's the way the fabric lies naturally. And if you're doing it this way, your two pieces from side to side will have the same grain. Like I said, I already cut mine, but um, it's not the hard part, that's just tracing. The hard part is re-gluing it back onto our armrest piece. So. I think it's time to start that. All right, my hot glue gun is hot and I have the piece cut to go over the armrest pad and I'm ready to start attaching it. Now, before you start, there's a couple things you wanna pay attention to. Uh, first of all is which is your good edge and which is your bad edge. Because of how this goes in, this kind of, you can see it better on the underside, this large curve edge is the one you're gonna see more of. And this back edge is the one you're gonna see less of. So I like to work this last edge last. Um, I'm gonna start with my hot glue gun right in the center and put out a huge amount of glue. And while I'm doing this, I wanna talk about a couple of the tools I have laid out here. Uh, a couple sets of pliers, because hot glue is hot, and you'll want some kind of way to Press some of the corners in. I've got a same blunt screwdriver so I can really get this into the corner. Make sure that's nice and flat. And just keep working my way along this main big edge, which is going to be one of the easiest things to do. isn't too time consuming. Um, all I have left is this little corner, and this little corner can be a real bitch, and there's a couple of reasons on that. Um, you've got this little clip again, and this is really particular about the clearance it has. So as we're working here, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors quick. So I'm down to this last corner, and this small corner here can be one of the most tricky to work on, just because it's such a tight radius. And the other thing you're working against is you have this very narrow little tolerance here for when it clips back into the door. You don't want to have too much material or too much glue here, because it's going to make reinstalling a total nightmare. So I have a pair of scissors, and we're going to slightly trim off some of the extra material here. And you're going to have to just eyeball it really to kind of get it just right so you still have enough material to work with and get it glued in there. You don't have so much that it's going to cause problems for you as you're working. You may have to peel back some of what you've already done. Trust me, it's worth it to do it right. Um, so I'm going to keep working this little area and this armrest should be good to go. That is not bad at all. I am pretty impressed with the end result here. Um, no real big spots that I'd want to redo. Obviously this side is the one towards the door. 
and this really nice edge is the one that's going to show up. So, <clears throat> I'm going to set this aside to cool for just a moment, but I think we are ready to reinstall. Alright, so here we are back where it all began at the driver's side door panel with our newly reupholstered armrest pad and I wanted to go over how to reinstall it quick. Um, again, you've got your little C here and this is going to be tricky because I've got a little more material here than I'd like, but uh, let's give it a go. I'm going to lock it in and then, let's see, out probably ooh, three four inches and it just popped. And then work your way down. Give a nice press all the way through. And that is a rewrapped armrest panel. The back passenger, uh, the back driver's side passenger armrest thingy. Um, that's got to be redone, so let's get on to that one. Alright, so these back armrests come out much easier than the front ones because they are just held in by the vertical push pins. So the trick is just pulling up. Um, that was fairly easy. Uh, oh, it's because I took one, two, three of the little receptacles with it. That probably helped. So I'm going to pop these off, pop the back off, reupholster to this, and be back in just a moment because it's... Oh, oh, there's a Brutus. Be back in just a moment because it's so easy now that we've already done one. So, see you in a second. Okay, so I'm back with the recovered armrest and we are ready to reinstall it. I took those couple little clips that came off the last time, put them back in their little slots. And it's pretty easy, you just line it up and push it in. That's pretty much it, the back ones are pretty easy. All right guys, that's my guide on how to remove and recover the armrest in a BMW E46 convertible. I hope you found it helpful. I'd love to hear your comments, feedback, uh, suggestions. Leave them down below. I always wanted to do that YouTube thing where they point down below. Um, yeah, I've got nothing left to do but enjoy my cars. Have a great day.